Vice President Kamala Harris is celebrating a milestone birthday in Georgia as she battles it out with former President Donald Trump for the White House. As November 5th quickly approaches, Trump is focusing on Pennsylvania, which could bring victory to either candidate. Natalie Brand reports. And we've got to fulfill the book. Musical legend Stevie Wonder serenaded Vice President Kamala Harris as she spent her 60th birthday holding back-to-back -back events on the campaign trail. Just over two weeks until Election Day, the Democratic nominee encouraged early voting in Georgia, where 16 electoral votes are up for grabs. And so I thank you for all you are willing to do to continue to be leaders in this community, to get folks out to vote. She also appeared at the New Birth Missionary Baptist Church in the city of Stonecrest outside Atlanta. What kind of country do we want to live in? A country of chaos, fear, and hate, or a country of freedom, compassion, and justice? In Battleground, Pennsylvania Sunday, former President Donald Trump told reporters he spoke with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. I congratulated him on obviously doing a very good job keeping Israel safe. The call comes after Israeli troops killed Hamas leader Yahya Sinwar and following a reported Hezbollah drone attack on Netanyahu's coastal home. Trump then visited a McDonald's trying his hand at the fry machine. Trump has claimed without evidence that Harris never worked at the fast food chain, an early job she cited during her campaign. Later Sunday, Trump held a town hall with voters in Lancaster. And in an appeal to Pennsylvania's diehard football fans, he's expected to attend a Steelers game in Pittsburgh. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington.